I don't know about you, but I hate reading directions. And sometimes the translation from Chinese to English can be very difficult to understand. So I've had a lot of people ask, how do you calibrate auto deflators? I'm gonna show you how easy that is. And you know what? I think this is gonna be fun. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners. If you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Josh. This is my daughter, Harley. She has been such an awesome help with these videos over the summertime. Although she is heading back to school soon, she wanted to show you just how easy it was to calibrate these deflators, which is gonna save you valuable time and energy when you're prepping your Jeep to take it off road. So why wait, let's dive right in. Great idea. All right, guys, so a kit of auto deflators like this one here that I have from Boulder Tools, you can pick that up on Amazon, eBay, or pretty much any off-road website. Um, they range anywhere from $20 to $45. Simple, easy. Let me show you what comes in the kit. Obviously, instructions, but we're going to show you how to calibrate them. Air pressure gauge, so you can check the air pressure before you get started. Now, I use a digital gauge, so you'll see that I'm actually not going to use this today, but it's going to work pretty much the same way. You also have your four deflators. They come in a beautiful little pouch, and these guys are what's going to let the air out of your tires so that you can get it down to the air pressure that you're ready to go. The kit will come with spare valve cores and some caps. Hopefully you'll never need them. I've never needed them as well as a valve core remover tool for that. Again, hopefully you never need it. It's a simple, easy kit. Like I said, relatively inexpensive. So let me show you just how easy it is to calibrate these. All right. So on every Jeep Wrangler, you have a full size spare. This is the easiest tire to use to calibrate these deflators. So First, you want to make sure that the air pressure in this tire is set to where you want your tires to be set off-road. I run mine around 15, and I have already set this tire pressure to about 15 PSI. All right, so on the deflator, the top adjustment will turn counterclockwise to loosen, clockwise to tighten. The locking ring underneath will actually do the opposite. It's clockwise to loosen and counterclockwise to tighten. Let me show you what this does. All right, so what you wanna do is turn this clockwise until it's nice and tight. This way, it doesn't let any air out, and we're simply gonna screw it right onto the valve stem. Once it's on there nice and tight, then you take the top and you start turning it counterclockwise just until you hear the air coming out. Now, I don't know how much that's gonna come across here as we do have a little bit of a breeze here in Vegas, but if we listen really closely, right there, we hear air coming out. So you wanna turn slightly back until you don't hear it. And right there, we don't hear any, any of the air coming back out. Now, this sensor is now calibrated to the 15 PSI that I have in my tire. So you take the lock ring, lock it right up against the sensor just like that, nice and tight, and you're done. Okay, so we have calibrated this to about the 15 PSI mark. If you're in a situation where you want to let a little bit more air out, maybe drop it down to about 12, you don't have to recalibrate the sensors. All you have to do is pull out on this little knob. All right, folks, so that's it. It actually really is that simple. Repeat that four times for all four deflators and you're ready to go. Honestly, it's the best 35 bucks I ever spent has saved me a ton of time off-road. But thank you so much for joining us. If you like the video, please be sure to hit the like button. And you know what? If you are new to the channel, why not subscribe and support the efforts? Next time, we're going to talk about chalking your tires so we can find that magic PSI for your on-road use. In the meantime, happy jeeping and we will see you next time.